Minister, um, first of all, to give you sort of a bit of a background as well, this is from an area of what you'd call marginal land. Obviously, if there was a slide from Bog, you know yourself, you're, I know where you come from, and I met you up your own country, that um, where there was Bog, the land around it would be uh, marginal. And these people are reared in families um, on small portions of land. And in my opinion, they matter. Um, and in fairness, yes, the government, uh, Minister Noonan at the time, set up the interagency group. A lot of the different state bodies were involved, even the Department of Agriculture was involved. But the problem is, as you move on, as Deputy Harkin has outlined, first majeure only lasts so long. Um, there was a commitment given that there would be a compensation package put in place to try and resolve, and I'm talking about where you know the, the, the slide went down and destroyed areas, and there was, look at those rivers and those different parts involved. But where it went down, and I, I went down to see it myself, it's not in my area, but I went down to see it myself, and the devastation it caused to small farms, small bits of land, and where you have it at the bottom of the mountain to be always the place that you might bring the O's down for lambing, or you, do you know what I mean, to be the only bit of midland ground you'd have, rather than putting stuff up the mountain, you bring them down in winter time or in springtime for lambing, or it might be the place where you'd have the few cattle um, in those small farms. And that's why the importance of this, um, you know, the, a decision needs to be given, a decision needs to be made, because we can't keep going on and going on in limbo. Uh, farmers need clarity, especially with the situation at the moment that, the, you know, that they're living in of uncertain times. And I would ask, I, I, as the Minister says, I'll be enthralled to hear the reply that will be coming, um, and I hope it's positive uh, what's coming. Thank you. Um, um, Minister McConnell has asked me to answer um, to this um, topical issues here on his behalf because, as people would know, he wasn't available here just in the chamber a short while ago, even for the vote either. So I do want to thank Deputy Harkin and Deputy Fitzmaurice uh, for raising this issue, which is a very difficult issue for the people involved. The landslide occurred in Shas Mountain, close to the village of Drummacairnan, County Leitrim, on the 28th of June 2020, following heavy rain on that day and the preceding days. An area of upland blanket bog, including an area of adjacent forestry plantation, moved downhill as a result of the liquefied peat, vegetation and trees continuing uh, from its source to follow the course of the tributary of the Devadger River downhill to Loch Allen. Some of the landslide material was held up at an area known as Dawn of Hope Bridge, close to the origin of the landslide. However, a quantity of material overflowed the bridge and made its way approximately seven kilometres downstream to eventually spread out and settle on uh, near areas of land and forestry in a number of townlands. Sporadic deposits of peat and other debris subsequently occurred in the heaviest deposits occurring in three townland areas, namely Karkarmik, uh, Derendangan and Karkwil Lower. Following the landslide, officials from the department map the areas affected by the deposit of peat and debris from the landslide using a combination of satellite imagery for the period in question, together with detailed GPS data collected from surveys conducted on the ground in July and August 2020. The total land area of agricultural land affected by the overspill has been calculated at 20.09 hectares. The, this land was declared by 18 uh, basic uh, payment scheme applicants in 2020. The total area of forestry within the damaged area is approximately 12 hectares. This comprises of land uh, held in seven privately owned forestry contracts. Um, in the aftermath of the landslide in 2020, the Minister moved to ensure um, that the fourth majeure would apply to ensure all farm scheme payments were not impacted by this event. Officials at the department contact each of the applicants affected by the landslide to ensure them that uh, payments would not be impacted. Fourth majeure measures were again uh, applied in 2021 and, will ensure the, and he will ensure that it will apply again in 2022 in respect of farm payments. Uh, that, I want to say that again, force majeure was applied again in 2021. The Minister will ensure that it will apply again in 2022 in respect of farm payments. In response to the event, the multi-agency group was established under the chairmanship of the Minister for Heritage and the Department of Housing, Local Government, 
multi-agency group, inter alia, Leitrim County Council, local representatives, Roxas members, farm bodies, national parks and wildlife, inland fisheries, Department of Transport, Department of Agriculture and Marine, and some universities. Leitrim County Council engaged specialist consultants, the RPS group, to undertake a comprehensive examination of the causes of the landslide and the impact it had on the natural and built environment, ecology, water quality and farming community. A report was prepared by the RPGS group uh, for the Department of Culture, estimated total deposits of 160,000 cubic metres, um, which is present at varying depths of up to two metres on the overspill areas. Accordingly, many of these areas remain untrafficable to both animals and machinery and are both unsuitable and unsafe for agriculture or farming use at present. Um, I also want to say the Minister visited the site on the 19th of November last where he viewed at first hand the damage to farm and forestry and he also met with many of the landowners impacted. Uh, with regard to the compensation of landowners, his, the department does not have a contingency fund. Any extra payment will have to be sanctioned by the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform. Discussions are continuing still at this point between uh, Minister McConnell and the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform and the Department will contact the affected landowners as soon as there are any further developments. Uh, Minister, I see you talked about 18 BPS applications and when you divide the, acre, the hectares multiplied by 2.5 um, into the 18, it just shows how small the farms are when you see how many was affected by it. And these people are trying to etch out a living and rear a family and do what people do in every other part of the country. And to be honest about it, um, you know, I know that you're going to the Department of Public Expenditure, but as has been highlighted earlier on, if it was in the Minister's back door, it was sorted in five months. But because it's in Leitrim, in my opinion, people in, be it Leitrim or any other county matter as much as anywhere else, if it took five months to resolve it in Donegal, or if it took six months to resolve it in Pula Thomas, it should be in between the two, and even if it was seven months. But this is going on a long time, it's dragging on. And in fairness, I see that something like 160,000 tonne of peat um, needs to be moved or whatever. Um, and these people need clarity, they need to know where they're going. And I note at the end you have, you have made, um, or what's talked about, is that in the application for BPS and ANC um, is separate to the compensation uh, claim. And are you saying that the Gwyn for BPS and ANC and that they're going to be cleared for this year until the compensation uh, claim comes or what is happening? I'm trying to clarify the last statement in what you had said there. Thank you. And um, the point I was making was any expressia payment will require the sanction of the Minister of Public Expenditure and Reform. Currently, his ex department has examined the options with regard to compensation and has engaged with the Department of Public Expenditure regarding the required sanction for compensation. The proposed compensation package will target those landowners, both farmers and people with forestry contracts affected by the landslide. It is intention to avoid any overlap in the application process for compensation scheme and the application of the BPS and the ANC and other CAP schemes for this. So, in other words, they will have to be separately separated out so there's no overlap between the two. Do they apply the for teams. ANC and BPS and, 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 now? And, and, and it, the reason they're being dealt with separately is to, so there's no confusion uh, by the applicants. And finally, I do want to say the Minister, having visited the area, is fully aware of the stress that this is causing. I know it has taken a, quite some time, but the RPS report that we did mention, which was very factual, over 60 pages, was uh, completed just over 12 months ago, published in February of last year. And I do accept uh, the discussions have been uh, extensive in the meantime. And I do not have a date at this point, or I don't think the, the Department has an exact date of when the engagement with the Department of Public Expenditure uh, let the, let the And, and the, the, the main point I'm just making on that is there's an issue of compensation and there's an issue of payments under the existing scheme. Both of them will have to be not done in tandem, one separately, so there's no confusion, no overlap. And what I, will say to, what I will say to the Deputy is um, I will ask the Department to contact the two deputies on the point you're raising at this moment, and I'll raise that. I contact the Department personally tomorrow morning so they can write to the yeah. clarifying this last Thank statement. You. Thank you. Just for the payments to know, because they have to be in for the 14th uh, or 16th of May. Thank you. Thank you. I will do that.